Hi, this is Davide. This is the final episode of the How to Ski Tour video series. Spring is finally here and I get to do a lot of my favorite sports all in one. We're gonna be riding bikes, hiking and skiing up to the top of a 13,000 foot peak and do it in order to reverse back. The wind is gonna be a factor. It's gusting up to 60 miles an hour. So hopefully we can reach our objectives. It's, if not, it's gonna be an awesome day out no matter what, and we'll make the most out of the conditions. You know, I'm always kind of itching to get out at the base of the mountain just to see the conditions because obviously there's some nervous energy and you want to be able to ski, but you never know until you get out there. So I'm always kind of pushing the pace to get there faster and try and beat rainstorms, clouds, deteriorating conditions. So. I'm always guilty of pushing the pace on the approach. Had a recent snow cover last night, so we might be dealing with some fresh snow, which we were not expecting. So late into the season, almost in July. <laughs> All right, we've made it to the trailhead. Looks like we'll be hiking from here for a bit. In spring skiing, you never know how much bushwhacking you have to do. So, it doesn't look like there's snow quite yet. So we'll be putting our hiking shoes on. <laughs> One key thing about this outing is knowing exactly where you're going. You might want to be relying on knowing the trail from your summer hiking adventures, but the trails in the winter and the spring look much different with the snow on it. That doesn't mean they look any less beautiful. And that's one thing I really enjoy is exploring same terrain on a different season. Finally, we see the couloir. It's looking really good. No wet slab risks. So, so far so good. On these uh, spring trips, there's always quite a lot of uh, unknown and a lot of adventure. You never quite know what the outdoors are gonna throw at you. We're approaching the apron of the cooler. Uh, I like to have an ice axe as I head up, just in case I need to do a self arrest. So I would definitely recommend taking a ski mountaineering course to learn ski mountaineering tricks and be safe in the mountains. It's getting steep now and I'm done kick turning up the face. So crampons are coming out. These allow you to walk up the face and be safe and secure. Oh, so good. Man, these, today like today is perfect. This is the
During the ski season, we got the chance to overcome that exhaustion and experience the mountains in a beautiful new way. Our skis became vehicles of exploration, a journey of adrenaline, bliss and shared joy. Through this series, we got to discover the magic of ski touring together and the profound beauty of the mountains when it's shared with new communities. These mountains became our classrooms. As you're reaching the summit, you do want to zip up. Not just teaching us skills, but also resilience and humility. And as the ski season comes to a close, I hope these memories inspire adventure, nurture love for the outdoors, and carry the mountain spirit within us. I'm just so grateful for every turn, every friendship, and the indescribable magic of ski touring. That was so much fun. I can't believe we just skied that cooler. I love spring skiing. And that actually wraps up our How to Ski Tour series. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something along the way. I can't wait for next season. Let me know what you want to see. Drop a comment below. That's it. Yeah, oh, so fun. That's it. That's it. That's a wrap. Davide Giardini, everybody. We'll see you next year.